chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again a circle with center o is touching two intersecting lines ax and by at a and b let us first of all draw a circle this is our circle and its center is o it is touching two intersecting lines ax and by at a and b let us draw two intersecting lines the one is intersecting at uh, one is touching this at a and there is a second line that touches it at point b these lines are by and ax two intersecting lines ax and by at a and b the arc ab formed by the two points of contact subtends an angle of 65 degrees at any point c on the circumference of the circle this arc ab this arc is subtending let us say any point c on the circumference and when we join it when we join it this angle is 65 degrees this arc is subtending an angle of 65 degrees on any point c on the circumference of the circle if p is the point of intersection of the two lines this point let us call it p is the point of intersection of the two lines then the measure apo is what apo means we have to join p and o and this is the angle called y that we have to find out let me repeat the whole question so that you understand what we have to do circle is there with center o then ax is a line which touches the circle at a by is a line that touches the circle at b this arc ab subtends an angle 65 degrees on point c and c is lying on the circumference we have to find out this angle y that is angle apo this question will require us to use and knowledge of so many concepts of our circles we will start by joining a to o when we join a to o this will be the radius perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact a so this angle will be 90 degrees this is one fact that we have similarly let us join o to b and ob is also a radius and at the point of contact of the tangent it will make an angle of 90 degrees so this is an angle of 90 degrees we have obtained some information about this angle this angle now we will make use of this information now let us examine this triangle apo and this triangle bpo i assert that triangle apo is congruent to the triangle bpo 
I assert that this is congruent to this triangle. Now why are they congruent? First of all, this angle is 90, this angle is 90. We can write angle O A P is equal to angle O B P is equal to 90 degrees. Secondly, we have OA is equal to OB equal to radii of the same circle that is in this triangle OA is the radius and in the lower triangle OB is the radius. So radius and radius they are equal and if we also see OP OP is the hypotenuse for this triangle and for this triangle. So OP is equal to OP is common to both the triangles. We can write OP is equal to OP common. So by the right angle hypotenuse and side rule. These two triangles are congruent. If this triangle is congruent to the lower triangle, then their corresponding angles must be equal. So if this is Y, then this angle must be also Y. If this is Y, then this angle will also be Y if this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So what we can say is that this entire angle APB which implies angle APB is equal to 2Y. Half Y, half Y so this entire angle will be equal to 2y. Now what about this angle? I hope you can have a look at this quadrilateral. This quadrilateral has 2y as one angle, this is 90, this is 90. This angle when added all these four angles added they should be 360. So out of 360, 90 and 90, 180 are these. This means this 2y and this angle should form 180 degrees. So which implies angle AOB should be equal to 180 minus 2Y. This will be 180 minus 2Y. This angle. If it is 180 minus 2Y, then only all 4 will add to 360. So, the whole point till now is that this angle is 180 minus 2y. Now we can see this whole story from another perspective. Come to this arc AB. This arc AB is subtending this angle at the center and the same arc AB is subtending 65 degrees on the semicircle. Now we know that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc at the periphery. So we can immediately write that 180 which implies 180 minus 2y should be equal to 2 times this angle 65. 
that is it should be 130 which implies now we can take 2y to the other side and 130 to this side 180 minus 130 should be equal to 2y which implies 2y should be equal to 50 which implies y should be equal to 25 degrees. In this question we had to use so many concepts of geometry for the circles. Let us move on to our next question now. The distance between the centers of two equal circles each of radius 3 cm is 10 cm. Let us first of all draw two circles having a radius of 3 cm. This is O, this is O dash. The distance between their centers OO dash is 10 cm. So I can write 10 cm somewhere here. And 3 I am writing closer to this, 3 I am writing closer to this. The length of a transverse tangent is what? A transverse tangent is a tangent that will touch both the circles like I have drawn. Let this point be called A, this point be called B, then we have to find out the length AB. This is the required thing. Let us collect all the information that we have. Join O to A. This is the radius touching the tangent at the point of contact. This angle will therefore be 90 degrees. And this distance is 3. Come here also. Join O dash to B. The radius is perpendicular to the tangent and this distance is 3. The radius of this is 3. The radius of this is also 3. So this is 3 and this is 3. This question can be done in three different ways. I will solve it by all of them because our entire objective is to learn as much geometry as we can. So let me take up our method 1 for solving this question. In the method 1, from O, we will draw a line parallel to AB. Draw L through O parallel to AB. We have drawn it parallel. Now, since it is parallel to this line, this angle will be also 90 degrees. Sum of angles on the same side of the transversal has to be 180. This is 90, so this will also have to be 90. Let us also produce O dash B to cut L in a point Y. This is one thing. Produce O dash B to cut L in Y. This means that O dash Y is a transversal for these parallel lines. Therefore, this angle must also be 90. Now, this 90, this is 90, this is 90, obviously, this is also 90. All the four angles of this figure are 90, which implies A, B, Y, O is a rectangle. 
this conclusion is justified. If this is a rectangle, the opposite sides should be equal. This is 3, so this will also be 3. And if AB is the required length, then AB will be same as OY. So if I label this as capital L, then I have to find out the value of capital L. If I am able to find out the value of capital L, then I will say that L being the opposite side of the rectangle, the length of AB will also be L. So my immediate objective should be to find out the length L. Now have a look at the boundary that I am highlighting. Can you see that this is a right angle triangle? We can apply the Pythagoras theorem. This is 10 this is 3 plus 3 6 and this is L which implies L square should be equal to hypotenuse square minus this square of this side 6 square. It should be 100 minus 36. 36 is 6 square this is 100 64 which implies L should be square root of 64 equal to 8 centimeter which is the answer if L is 8 then AB will obviously be 8 being the opposite side of the rectangle. Let me solve the same question by second method. I am clearing the board. We have two circles. Let me draw them quickly. And I have to find the length mark it A, mark it B. This is the center, this is the center. Join it, join it. This joining OO dash has been given to us as 10 centimeter. I am writing method 2. Let us label what we have. This is 3. This is also 3. This is 90. This is 90. Let us call this point of intersection as any letter we can call M. Now I assert triangle AMO is congruent to triangle MBO dash. Why are they congruent? Because this angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 90. And this angle is vertically opposite to this angle. AMO is equal to O dash MB vertically opposite. And OA is equal to O dash B. equal to 3 each because the circles are of same radius. So by angle angle side rule these two triangles are congruent. If they are congruent then OM will be same as MO dash that is this length will be same as this length and this AM will be same as MB 
these two triangles are congruent so this and this this and this will be equal so which implies om is equal to om is equal to half of oo dash half of 10 equal to 5 cm i can write 5 here now if i attend only to this triangle i can see that this triangle is a right angle triangle eligible for pythagoras theorem so this 3 5 and orally i know that this should be 4 why because hypotenuse square 5 is equal to 3 square plus 4 square this is 9 16 25 and this is 25 these are pythagorean numbers which we orally remember so this side am should be 4 which implies am should be 4 but we do not require am we require ab ab will be double this 4 which implies ab is 2 into 4 is equal to 8 centimeter m is the midpoint of ab so entire ab will be two times this part that is 8 centimeter by method 2 also we have obtained the same answer now let me take you to the method 3 i am erasing the board so that i can take a method 3 